And I think that is so sad because what is supposed to be the very foundation of this country is that we are all equal. But what happens is when you had privilege for so long, equality feels a lot like oppression. You know, I, but I... You're a damaged goods lady. Hello and welcome back to Suffer With Me through another bad case of the spews. <laughs> Why anyone watches this show is baffling to me. But the disturbing fact is that it's the most watched daytime TV show and has been for a long time. Oh God. They're now using this Maoist struggle session disguised as a TV show to push the warped fever dream of racial collective guilt and punishment against the whites. And not just the whites, but specifically white children. Oh, great. You don't want to miss this one, but first give me a quick 30 seconds for some capitalism and a free coin offer from Noble Gold. If you're trying to navigate market turbulence, why not set course to the Noble Gold Investment Safe Haven? With global uncertainty looming, your savings and retirement plans are under siege. But there's one asset that has stood the test of time gold. Unlock the peace of mind that comes with owning gold, the ultimate safe haven. With gold at an all-time high and looking to climb further, it's the perfect time. And right now, get a free 3-ounce silver American Virtue coin when you open an IRA with Noble Gold Investments today. Act now before it's too late. Call 877-646-5347 and claim your free coin now before it's too late. Or visit noblegoldinvestments.com. That's noblegoldinvestments.com. And remember, there's always risk of investing and there are no guarantees of any kind. Only about 12 states have a black history mandate, while 18 have passed laws severely limiting this curriculum. Now, it's a vital part of American history, so why, what's everybody so nervous about? Why are you nervous? All right, got to stop it here real quick and state the obvious. She's lying. No shit. Nobody is trying to limit the teaching of black history. What there has been is some pushback on far left ideological beliefs being pushed in the public schools. Just like you can indoctrinate kids with your religious beliefs at public schools, you also can't do it with ideological beliefs. These laws and proposed laws specifically target far left ideologies like critical race theory and gender theory, not history. And just to preempt the talk about about banning books. Again, we're talking about books that reference critical race theory or that border on pornography, teaching kids how to use gay sex apps and how to have gay sex. Stuff that really has no business in the public schools and which you can freely get on your own. And I think what they do is they not only erase the bad stuff that may make people feel bad, like slavery, which is responsible for the found very foundation of this country. It really lies, the solution lies in education, because if you are taught that George Washington is not the person you thought he was, if you are taught perhaps that Roosevelt is not the person you thought he was, or Grant is not the person you thought he was, or General Lee is not the person you thought he was, I think you would think twice twice about having a statue of him up in a park or of him in your home. Sonny, at what point do you think it is too much? Like, do you think that we should add someone to Mount well, Rushmore? Do you think we should be removing all of our founding fathers statues everywhere? I yes. Well, I can tell you about, I mean, if you look at the history Everybody of Mount awesome. Rushmore, Mount um, Rushmore was, can't hear was We have to go. And I think what they do is they not only erase the bad stuff that may make people feel bad like slavery oh that was different look i obviously revile the clearly evil practice of slavery but these morons don't even have a surface level understanding of slavery and they're just using what they have as a weapon against people they hate she's talking about the need to teach history but what she's talking about is teaching history from the lens of a far left marxist for instance i never learned in school that slavery in america was really small compared to the history of slavery in south america this doesn't justify or minimize America's part, but it does change the narrative when you realize South America had a much larger number of slaves for a much longer period of time compared to the US and it wasn't just white people taking part. What concerns me even more is that they erase the contributions of people that don't look like them. So they erase the contributions of someone like Bayard Rustin. They erase the, co the contributions of indigenous people. They have erased from history and teaching our children that the freezer was uh, developed by a black man. We have another. 
Wrong. Frederick Jones had a patent for a mobile refrigeration unit for semi-transport, but he's far from being the inventor of refrigeration, which was a white guy nobody knows about. It's not a conspiracy. It's just obscure and very specific. That the first open heart surgery was performed by a black man. All right, he was actually mixed with an Irish father, but that's not the point. It's not a racist conspiracy that most people don't know that because it would only be taught in a very specific instance. Most people don't know the first white people to perform medical advancements. That the GPS technology that we all use today was developed by a black woman. You don't know what you're talking about, do you? All right, this again is misleading. Yes, Dr. Gladys West did play a part in the development of GPS, but she didn't do it herself. She helped program the computer system that would eventually be used to calculate the orbit of GPS. A few white guys that nobody knows about either played their parts as well. Learning about history should not make anybody feel bad. We learn about oh, it history. it should make you feel bad. No, but it's important that it makes you feel bad. What? Just wow. Thank you, Sarah Hines, for proving exactly why these ideologies need to be purged from the school system. Because you get people like Sarah Hines, who hate themselves and hate other white people because of the indoctrination they received at school and in the media. It's insane and a sign of the times that I even have to say this, but no, white kids should not have to feel guilty with something they have nothing to do with and literally took no part in. Simply because they happen to share the skin tone of one of the many groups who took part in the evil of the African slave trade, no deal. I don't think it should make you feel bad. I mean, I don't think a, a white child sh uh, that's had nothing to do with slavery should feel bad about slavery. I think we need to learn history so that we don't repeat the same mistakes yeah. about history. What the f did I just hear? What? How the f is Anna Navarro the one talking sense here? She may not know it, but she's actually making the case for people like me who want to keep these ideologies out of the public school system. All of us want to teach history. We just don't want it taught from the perspective of a bunch of communists who want to tear this country down and replace it with their vision. Hey, just want to remind everybody that we do have an active Discord server if you're interested in coming just to chat, hang out, watch videos, watch live stream events, play games, whatever. Come by and check it out. You can find a link to the invite in the description and ping comments.